Welcome to Definitely Not Funny. Actually, the least funny person I know. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Definitely Not Funny. I am your host, Jackie Norris. And today we're talking about Valentine's Day. Why? Because it's the day before Valentine's Day. I think every year I've done a Valentine's Day episode. It's timely. People love it. And it's a controversial topic. I mean, it's not controversial, but it's like there's a lot of opinions around it and a lot of rhetoric around it and sort of cultural zeitgeist around it. So I think it's worth it's worth noting and talking about um, this past weekend. I had a couple of Valentine's Day events with some of my friends that I've made out here and they were so cute. It was like really, really fun. We went the first one. This girl did a brunch in her apartment and she literally lives in like a studio apartment and she somehow managed to set up the whole thing where she had like multiple like folding tables set up. I think there were like 12 girls at the brunch. She had table settings for everyone. She had like these cute little straws that said like love and XOX. Like they were so cute. She had bouquets of flowers across the table, napkin rings with these pink cloth nap. Like it was everything about it was stunning perfect amazing she made all this food for everybody it was insane it was like one of the most insane events I've been to in a long time like I couldn't get over it and then after that I went over to my other friend's apartment and we did bouquet making so it was such a smart idea each person brought like not a bouquet of flowers but like a bunch of flowers from Trader Joe's like one girl brought roses I brought eucalyptus someone else brought daisies like someone brought hydrangeas And so then we had like, I don't know, a hundred flowers of all different types. And so you could pick which ones you wanted and turn it into like a little bouquet. And so I have my beautiful little bouquet sitting over there and I love it. It's just so nice. It's, it was such a fun little activity. And this was such a juxtaposition for me from last year, because last year I was still living in LA And I had talked to some of my friends about like, let's do a Valentine's Day thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I was like, yeah, that would be so cute. And so I agreed to host it and I set up the whole thing and like had it all planned out and was so excited for it. And not a single person showed up. Like there were eight girls who were supposed to come and no one came. And I don't think it was malicious. Like, I don't think they were like, oh, fuck Jackie. We hate Jackie. We don't want to go to Jackie's thing. Like, I think it was very much like the girls were like, bitter about Valentine's Day and the fact that they were single on Valentine's Day and didn't want to come and hang out all together I don't know I was it was just like they like wanted to pretend it wasn't happening or something I'm like what like why not make it a fun little night for us like that could be so cute um so it was so interesting to see now this year the level of activity that I had around Valentine's or Galentine's Day that was organized by other people and so that was just like very special full circle moment and I think that kind of shows I mean it's like it's a ridiculous example but it kind of shows like this too shall pass like there's highs and there's lows and you're not always going to stay in the low and you're not always going to stay in the high and that was like the experience I had there um for actual Valentine's Day so I haven't like told you guys this because I don't want to make a big deal out of anything. But I may or may not be like kind of sort of seeing someone. Ooh. So I, they don't live here. And it's been really nice because like, I mean, they've been amazing. And that's fantastic. And I'm, that's about all the detail I'm going to give on that front. But I haven't been because I've been talking to this person I haven't been like going on dates or like trying to meet guys you know what I mean and it's been amazing it has been so nice like the fact that like these past few weeks all I've done is like what I want to do like I've spent time with my friends I've stayed in and read a book I've set up my new I mean I moved which was like chaotic um moved into my new apartment and whatever <laughs> decided to uproot my life no I like have just been able to do all the things that I want to do and I haven't had like to be 
like, ugh, I wake up and like, whatever, at like 5 p.m. after work, I sign off work and now I got to like go on the apps and like see who I'm talking to and like plan out some date with them and figure out like what we're going to do and then go on this date with this random dude that within 30 seconds I know I literally never want to see again. And now I got to talk to him for the next hour. Like not doing that has been so nice. And like also going out and not like being very vulnerable with you guys. I would go out and I would like compare myself to other girls at the bar. So like if there was like a guy I thought it was cute, I'd be like, oh, well, he's not going to talk to me because that girl's prettier and like whatever. But now it's like I don't even think about that. Like it's because I'm and I'm lucky in the sense that I don't have to think about that because I'm talking to this other person. But like it makes me think like why if this stuff was real, like this stuff was not bringing me joy, like going on these first dates was not bringing me joy, going out trying to meet people was not bringing me joy. Like why was I investing so much in it? You know, like I should have been using that time to just be hanging out with my friends and doing things that I wanted to do and learn new hobbies and go for walks and go to the gym. Like there was no reason for me to be going on these random first dates. So if you're single, I would say the Valentine's Day gift you should give to yourself is to like not go on the apps and not go on any random first dates unless you like meet someone organically or your friends like wants to set you up. I just think the apps are botched right now. Like I think I think there was a time when the apps were great Um, but I think right now the apps are botched so I wouldn't use them. And I would say just like fucking go and do your thing and like live your life and enjoy yourself because February is a tough month. It's just like it's winter. It's dark. It's cold. It's weird. We're done with Christmas. So we're like done being excited about winter. And now we're just like, okay, is it over yet? Nope. We still have a long while to go until summer. So that's like not not ideal the last thing you need to be doing is like going on a random date with some random dude trying to like figure out what on earth you're going to talk about with him you don't need to do that so that would be if you take anything away from this episode I would say take that away like don't go on these random first dates you don't need to you're so much better than that it's and there's nothing wrong with doing it obviously but there's other ways you could be spending your time And the right person's going to find you. So just for now, and it's not like swear off dating forever, but just for now, or if you need a break, like take that break. It feels so good. So good. And you're not missing out on anything because I I would have this thing where like, I'd be like, oh shit. Well, like what if like a guy liked me on Hinge or something? And then like, I don't see it until three months from now. But then by that point, he has a girlfriend and now I've missed out on the man of my dreams. No. Like there's this saying that people say, which is like, what is meant for you will not pass you. And I believe that that's totally true. So what's meant for you will not pass you. It won't miss you. Like it will figure itself out. So there's no reason to really be too, too pressed about it. And those are my, those are my two cents there. Now I want to talk to you about just my valentine's day experiences in relationships i actually can't remember if i've talked about this on previous episodes if i have then like whatever you don't have to listen but if you've already listened to it but if you haven't you can listen to it it's kind of fun so first one was these are the ones that i can like remember well was when i was either a junior or senior in college i can't remember i think i was a senior in college my boyfriend at the no 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 so rewind when i was a senior in high school my boyfriend at the time was in college and I went and surprised him me and my cousin Hannah we went up and surprised him at college in Maine and we like drove up for the weekend and it was so fun I remember being like a high schooler at a college party thinking like and it was like a it wasn't like a crazy college party like there was nothing crazy about this um it's a very small school and I just like thought it was so cool and it was so fun and Hannah was there and we had the best time and it wasn't like this like romantic weekend it was more just like this like ah I actually can't even remember if that was the time there was one Valentine's Day where I went up and surprised him oh no it was that one it was that one 
I remember. Um, because he was so upset that I wasn't going to come that weekend. Because I, he's like, why can't you come this weekend? I'm like, I can't come that weekend. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, I really want to see you. I want to spend Valentine's Day together. I was like, I can't come. I can't come. Little did he know I was coming. So I came anyways. And it was so fun. That was like a fun, such a fun, great little weekend. Then on the other side of it. So Valentine's Day with a partner can be very fun. On the other side of it. Hi guys, it's me editing right now, recording live from my cell phone. So when I was recording this episode, I did this whole story about this ex-boyfriend I had and how on Valentine's Day it was really bad. And then I was just listening to it back, editing it, and I was like, you know what? There's some things that like I should share and there's some things that I don't need to share. And I decided I just don't need to share it. So... I'm just not going to, (laughs) but that's why the episode is going to feel a little bit choppy because it's going to be like, ah, I was talking about this one thing and then all of a sudden now I'm talking about something else and it seems like I missed a whole story. All you need to know about the story is basically that Valentine's Day in this particular relationship was bad and it's because it had just brought light to the underlying issues of the relationship and that was the purpose in telling that story okay I'm gonna let you guys get back to the episode but needed to put in a little caveat there the purpose of me telling that story is that like Valentine's Day I think when you're in a relationship really just heightens whatever emotions you feel towards that relationship because it forces you to think about it and it forces you to sort of like take inventory and like do an audit of where you're at my boyfriend out of college we spent valentine's day together um like right after we first started dating and that's when he like asked me to be his girlfriend and like brought me flowers and we had like sushi on the root like it was so wonderful and so cute and so special so it's cool to see valentine's day's at like different stages of relationships and see how it just sort of accelerates whatever wherever you're at so that's that's my little spiel on valentine's day for this valentine's day i don't know what i'm gonna do maybe some of my girlfriends might want to do something otherwise honestly i'll probably just like hang out clean my room read a book do myself tanner paint my nails light a candle and take my little ass to bed like that sounds so cozy and I think that's that might be my move (laughs) and I certainly will not be going on some stupid first date with some stupid boy from Bumble can can confirm that for sure well on that note I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day whatever it is you're doing whoever it is you're doing it with enjoy yourselves Tell your mom you love her, the little things, and I will see you all back here next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this podcast, which I hope you did because you made it this far, you can leave a rating and a review and you can share it with a friend and you can follow me on Instagram and you can subscribe on YouTube and you can follow me on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And all those little things make a huge difference. So, thank you so much. Have a great week. Bye. Did you laugh? I did.